Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is to give my impressions after using Windows 11 for the past week and a half. What do I think of the OS? Um, I know a lot of you are saying, well, you know, it's just visual design over Windows 10. Um, Windows 10 is the main core, yes, but there's a, there are some changes under the hood of the uh, operating system. There's um, also new ways of doing certain things. They have redone the accessibility panel where uh, usually, you know, we used to go and um, basically in the settings and you would have uh, ease of access with all the, the stuff for people that have all sorts of disabilities. <clears throat> ease of access had some nice tools, but it was kind of not the best way to go through it. So for those that have disabilities, I think the new way of doing it is better. Uh, of course, they renamed the uh, ease of access to accessibility and and it is more functional. Um, after using it for a week and a half, did I encounter uh, problems? I did have a few little glitches that are known issues that people are sharing. But mostly when I do some really, really heavy use and have multiple windows open, uh, I know some of you have tested it and said, well, you know, I got no problems. You know, on a regular just um, using the OS to, to read documents, to go on the Internet, do email, the, the basic stuff that people would do generally, um, I've not encountered any problems. But there is problems that arise when you start kind of getting in more into the heavy stuff. Um, I am getting used to it, and I kind of like a lot of the aspect. The visuals, first of all, yes, I do love the visuals. Um, I, it's something that I find uh, kind of cool because I, you know, had um, I, I like to have new stuff to look at. I have I like to have. It's like a, you know, when when you paint your your home different colors and change things, you know, move things around. It's kind of a new place, even though you still live in the same house. It's the same for Windows. Every time there's a redesign, I'm kind of happy because I like the redesign that there is. The panels that you know come from the right side or left side of the screen, depending on what you want to do. I think it's nice, and of course, it's still missing some of the some of the options. There are a lot of things that are going to be added over time, uh, and uh, so you know we're going to see more. But I am liking it. I like the new file explorer. There are things to get used to. I mean, um, you know, if you if you click on on a uh, uh, right click on a document, for example, in the file explorer, the menu is different, and it's kind of you got to get used to the fact that you know there's a little uh, kind of uh, recycle bin or, or trash can if you want for the delete, rather than um, having it in the contextual menu, contextual menu, which is a little different so you got to get used to some of these icons and stuff but i like it uh, and i'm getting used to it anyways while i use it um, the new way of having the different panels and information the buttons uh, kind of nice and it's very straight to the point so at first you don't see things that you needed and you're like yeah but now i got a volume but I like to right click and, and choose which which device because here on this computer I have multiple devices that I will output the sound. Well now it's kind of easy. It's their volume's there, but there's a little arrow here, and that's where it all happens. This is where oh beyond TV, speakers Intel or speakers on the console that I have. So you do have a learning curve of a lot of the new options in the menu, uh, and the menus and the way that the things have been redesigned. But overall, it still is pretty good and still works. Now, uh, a lot of people have been complaining about the task manager. You know, when you right-click the taskbar, it's going to taskbar settings now. But if you get used to the fact that you just right-click on the uh, start button and, and click task manager from there, you still have the task manager available. It's just that you've got to remember uh, that, you know, that's the way, where you're going to go and, and check that out uh, when you actually... Um, you don't want to go to the different options, including the task manager. Um, I like the feel. I like the color, sh uh, the color, and the uh, different menus. It is nice. It's fast. I find this to be quite fast on my PC, 
And a lot of people actually been saying that they find it faster than Windows 10. So obviously there's a lot of tweaks that have been done in the operating system to have this work better. So um, this is honestly, after a week and a half, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy of using it. And uh, actually today, if you are on the dev channel, a lot of people have been asking me uh, today um, on um, Thursday, July 8th, there is a new version of Windows 11 for insiders. So check it out as uh, new features apparently are in there. So that's going to be something to look at. And if you want to know more and know more about the new features, go to my Windows Insider channel. Uh, that's where it all happens. The link is in the description below the video. And uh, we'll you know continue. We'll talk more about Windows 10 here. But um, as from time to time, we'll come back and, and kind of look at the state of where we are in Windows 11. And once again, for a lot of people are saying, oh, this is coming out in October. Nope, Microsoft did say that this is going to be for Christmas holiday season. And that if you're a Windows 10 user, you might not actually have it appear on your Windows updates before January, at least, of 2022. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.